Okay, here we are at Alton Park in the Lotus 49. Track temperature is 66 Fahrenheit, and the track usage is moderately high. Okay, so I haven't had much practice this week. That's the highest track usage I've seen, but also the coolest track, so we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, I can just be really cautious because I haven't had enough practice to be even have any confidence whatsoever. All right, um, minute, minute and 20 left in the practice session, so who do we have? All right, John, Gary, Gary, Marcel, okay, Cam, me, Gary. So mostly no names. Hey, <clears throat> hey John, hell of a lap there. I love the record. Thanks. Happy Wednesday, John. Yes. I can't talk and drive at the same time. All right, I'll be talking to you during the race then. <laughs> He's trying to cut into that half second lead there. <laughs> Practice laps don't mean anything. All right, uh, we've got 12 drivers. I am driver number six based on rating. Um, hey everyone, it's going to be my very first um, um, race in this car, so um, yeah, I'll probably be fairly slow. I'll try to keep out of everyone's way, eh? Welcome, Ed. Cheers to that, John. Yeah, Ed, I mean, that's, that's why John and I started pushing last week to try to get this time slot to go official. I mean, it, it's a friendly one for you guys. It's a friendly as if they stay up a little. Uh, thanks for that. It does suit me. Uh, I'm in Australia and it's um, 9.30 in the morning. That's what time it is here in Sim World. Oh, nice. All right. So let's see if I can hold it together for... An outlap and two it takes, it is clear. Don't cross the line. Okay, Glenn, we've got qualifying two laps. laps. Let's get this done. The bad news is I've just got to be uber careful because I don't really know the track yet. Hoping, based on some of the other practice laps, there's some other people maybe not quite perfectly practiced up to. But I'm glad this one's going official. This will be one of two races I get. Uh, the opportunity for maybe doing Friday night 23.32 also, because uh, I can't do Saturday this week.
One gallon remaining. All right, so I've got three more minutes of qualifying left. I think the time would be better used. Check my setup. All right, so first things first, let's change the race setup. And I took John's race, well, both of his sets, and I tamed the drive ramp just a little bit. One click. Um, it definitely helped me. 66 and moderately high. <clears throat> wow, John's a 123.8. That's two and a half seconds faster than me. Gary Marcel's fast in the under the 125. Gary Ho, okay, wow. Well, I expect Cam will, I expected he and Jerry would set decent laps anyway. Uh, Timothy's always pretty uh, safe and consistent. Hmm. But maybe they've already completed. Wow. Yep. So it looks like Cam made a couple of mistakes. So he's not going to set a lap. And Jerry, two incidents. Let's see if he set a lap. So John, Gary, Marcel, Gary, Cam. Oh, Cam. Did set a lap. Okay. Okay. All right. So right now I'm sitting qualifying fifth or uh, sixth. <clears throat> and it looks like just everybody. I guess technically Seth King isn't finished, but maybe he's still driving. So this is going to be a little bit of survival game, just not enough practice. Tricky track, there's lots of bumps, lots of off-camber turns, lots of places for throttle control or braking control to really set the clock of time, okay? Um, rough parts on the track to really upset the car under braking or under throttle, so I'm going to be That's real, real deliberate and patient i hope all right how many laps you is got this to come thing? From the background playing the old um, grand prix legends game absolutely it's going back over 20 years ago 
Yeah, if you haven't found the Discord yet, you should drop in. Mostly everybody there has got really fond memories. <laughs> Alright, let's find relatives. Good luck, guys. Know where I am on the track. Have fun all. Alright, so Seth to my left, Ed directly behind me, Cam to my left, and Gary Ho directly in front. Yes, it is, Cam. I don't think Cam uses chat, uh, voice chat, I mean. Uh, I mean, I do sometimes, but <laughs> this car takes so much attention, you ain't talking during a race. I can barely talk sitting on the grid. I am going to turn on my delta bar right away, just so I can have a little bit more feedback. Sometimes it'll warn me when I'm too hot into a turn or a corner and give me a little bit more heads up before I fly off into the cornfields. <clears throat> Temp is 19. The air temp is 18 Celsius. All right, Glenn, here we go. Let's go. Car right. Clear right. Gary appropriately took that spot back that he lost on the start and almost lost it right there. Cold tires, remember, cold tires. Man. Tiptoeing through there more than even I think is necessary, but whatever it takes. Stay on the track. The good news is, it's not like the field is disappearing into the distance instantly, so maybe a little bit slow, but not crazy slow. Put a gap of two seconds on the car behind, so that's a good cushion. It's Jerry back there, he's usually pretty fast, especially recently, he's picked up some pace. So he's probably just playing it nice and calm and easy too. Waiting on maybe a little bit of attrition and warm tires to come in. I 
Right now, it looks like Gary and Cam ahead are fighting it. No, 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 no. I almost missed that one. Cam's usually a pretty calm, consistent driver. So maybe Gary's got some pace on him and getting a little bit impatient. Looks like he's working him over up there, but nothing happening yet. Holy cow, Jerry's pulled back a second. <laughs> he's back at point nine right now. Or he's coming for me. No such luck to have any, to have a nice breather. He's also a pretty level-headed driver, so I don't really expect him to do anything crazy, but it looks like he definitely has pace on me. is now 1.8 seconds. Sixth place. That's a bummer. Something happened to Jerry. The result is, at least, that I can relax maybe a little bit. Wouldn't be... Wouldn't be sad if I could stay in contact with Gary and Cam. We're all capable of making the random mistake. Be nice to be able to capitalize on somebody makes a big enough moment, but three seconds, there's a lot he can do and not lose the position to me. Drive your race, Glenn.
gap in front is increasing. It's now 4.0. All right, forget about the gap, just drive. Still don't know how to drive that corner at all. Better. front is now 5.7 all right so they both definitely have significant pace on me so this could just be a 24 lap time trial for sixth position uh, looks like maybe oh that's head lap traffic ahead in front has increased to 8.2 seconds. Gary or Cam or both could probably spin twice and still not give up the position to me. <laughs> That's okay. Not prepared to drive with them, so I'll just try to keep it on the track. Easier said than done. The 
gap in front has increased. It's now about 9.7 seconds. Okay, Jim, you can stop telling me if it gets bigger. Just tell me if it gets smaller. You can talk to Crew Chief and configure him, but I don't think that's a command. I don't think I have voice configure right now, but you can actually tell him to change different settings or sometimes just to shut up. During a race is not a good time to learn the track or change what you're doing. But when you're as unpracticed as I am for this one, you can't help but learn a thing or two here and there. Okay, Glenn, we're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 9.4. Come on by, Gary. Well, kept it from completely spinning, but that was a silly off track. No, no reason for that. Halfway home, fuel's good. Gap in front is increasing. It's now 14 seconds.
in front is now 14 seconds. The track temperature's rising, it's now 20 Celsius. Almost did it. Same thing again. That kind of double apex there is called Druid's Corner. Always baffled me. None of the fast guys this week have had time to post a demo lap, so I don't really have any good. These stupid little off tracks are going to kill me. I don't really have any good um, braking marks and set set points, etc. I don't know if that's the fastest way around Druids, but that's definitely my fastest way around that one this race. That's my fastest for that corner too. Maybe I'm learning something. <laughs> Not sure what it is. But even I get lucky sometimes.
can't really decide if I want to shift up to fourth there or bounce off the rev limiter in third. Should probably sort that before I race next time.
apologies if I held you up, Dan. Two laps remaining. White flag, one more to go. Congrats, John. Nice win, buddy. Thank you. P6. Okay, we're done. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Ooh, I am tired. That was a lot of work for a very far arrears sixth place. I'm guessing I'll gain both I rating and safety rating. Good race, thanks guys. Nice, John. Thank you.
Um, so I, I, what I say, we had 12 in the field. So I finished six, so hopefully I'll gain a little bit of buy rating. Um, and I only had three incidents, silly little off tracks. Um, so hopefully I'll gain safety rating also. Take a look at that in just a second. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 31 miles per hour. Bring it on in. Go, go, go! Okay. Learn how to drive this car first. Do you have Discord? Yeah, I've, I've joined that 49ers um, Discord channel. Okay, top notch, top notch. That's what I was going to post for you, but you're already there. Sweet. And it's really handy. It's got that bot that um, has been telling me, you know, when there's a, a few people um, lined up to race. Yeah, and uh, John Olson, there's a setups channel in that Discord, and John Olson, who won tonight's race, usually makes some really solid drivable setups that are nice and confidence inspiring you should check them out yeah appreciate that and appreciate that too john um i think i was using one of those setups today all right thanks again guys and i'll um i appreciate the advice and i'll we'll, I'll hopefully keep seeing you and and get amongst it thank you absolutely ed look forward to it bud yeah good to meet you ed well done keep coming back All right, so All right, so let's take a look at our results. <clears throat> okay, I gained a tiny bit of both, but Gain is gain. All right, so where did I qualify? Qualified sixth. So I qualified apparently exactly where I should have. I was almost 58 seconds behind John at the finish. It's like Gary had pretty close contact with him most of the time. Marcel. Nicely done. Yeah, I think he's new to the series. Uh, no incidents and pretty good lap time. 124.6. John and Gary both have 124 evens. And I don't know how they do that. I was a lot closer to the fast guys last week, but I think that's just because most sport works for me. Uh, I'm not sure where, where, what happened to Jerry. Uh, he must have had an off or something early in the race. He dropped way back. Took the pressure off me pretty quickly. Uh, looks like Tim didn't finish. Uh, he disconnected with seven laps down. Ed finished three laps down uh, with a bunch of incidents, probably a couple of offs and off tracks and the usual stuff, and then I had three. Okay. All right, and I gained 63 championship points. Okay, we'll keep marching. Um, I think uh, who's in my? I think Jerry's in my division. Not sure who else. I think that's it for this race. And then let's take a look at laps. 126, 7, 126, 8, 125, 8, 125, 8, 127, 126, 27, 0, 27, 4, 27, 9. Oh, that was one of my off tracks, 30. Fastest lap, 20. 125, 3. So these, this series of laps here is pretty, pretty good. If you take out this one and this one, 
from lap 11 on, it's 125.7, 25.6, 25.8, 25.5, 25.7, 25.8, 25.9, 25.10, 25.11, 25.12, 25.13, 25.14, 25.15, 25.16, 25.17, 25.18, 25.19, 25.20, 25.21, 25.22, 